Al's back, and I hear we've got an AC to talk about. We have an AC. We have to go to all the way to Washington State to take a look at it. Based on the serial number, the owner told us this 1958 Alice Chalmer D14 was very rare. He also told us there's a big difference between collectors in the Midwest and those in his neck of the woods. The story is with it, they only built six of them. And I've only had this thing for a couple of years, but uh, it was a rare find. I come out of Minnesota, bought it at an auction. Had a bit against some of the people back there, but I guess I just paid more for it. The auctioneer said they just pulled it out of the shed. It had blackberry vines and everything else on it when I got it, and mouse nests all over. Very happy with the tractor when I got it. It was just what he told me it was. The motor was stuck and it was missing one side panel. Other than that, it was all original. Still got original, three of the original tires on it. It was easy to restore. The lights were there, everything was there. It was a, it was a easy tractor, except we had to overhaul the motor. I learned years ago, if you're gonna collect this stuff, it better be low numbered, rare, or, something special about it that's what i mean anybody can restore a d14 and you get done you still got a d14 but you want to have something that's pretty rare and high clearance of course is rare it did have a couple of cultivators left on it when i got it i did remove them because they weren't all there out here on the west coast the tractors are not worth as much as they are back in the midwest they're back there they're still farming now farming's going away here and back in minnesota i mean go back to those shows and everything them guys are farming they're they're tractor people and that's a, that's a nice thing. Everybody asks what I'm gonna do with these tractors. Well, I really don't know for sure, but the, the story that goes along is when I die. Funeral's at 10, auction's at two. Don't forget, you can find Tractor Tales online at usfarmreport.com or on Facebook. The segments can also be downloaded as podcasts from iTunes.